This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Brinks Mini U-Bar Lock, model 175-07007. It's a product I previously featured over seven years ago, and as I was re-watching that video recently, I noticed that I made a mistake. I said that the tubular core inside is resistant to impressioning, and that's simply not so. A combination of me using better tools and a more refined technique may be the cause of the error, but regardless, I tried a couple of the locks and they opened very quickly. Let's give it a try. I'm going to be using my Covert Instruments tubular lock pick. I mentioned that my technique is improved, so I wanted to talk about that first. What I do is tighten this collar a little bit more than I might normally, and that makes it harder to move these little feelers. Once that's tightened down, I will insert it into the keyway, tension the tool, and then rotate the back in a circular manner. I'll then release tension, reapply tension, rotate the back in that circular manner again, and keep doing that until the lock opens. It's a very effective technique, and it even works on some locks that are specifically designed to resist tools like this. So let's give it a try. can see we opened that very quickly. Let's lock it back up and do it one more time just to make sure it's not a fluke. We of course need to reset the feelers. And once again, we got in very quickly. Okay, folks, I'm as prone to errors as anyone and feel it's really important to correct any inaccurate information that I put out there, which of course is the point of this video. It should also go without saying that I think any users of this product should relegate them to the trash heap. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.